special. You guys are gonna really want to watch all the way through this video because you have an exam coming up. And by the looks of it, a lot of you seem to be lost. And I'm sorry for that. But if you go and watch the videos I've made and read the emails that I've sent out, you'll find that all the information is there. So I'm gonna answer, I mean, I'm getting more text messages and emails than I am views of the videos. So I'm growing a little bit concerned uh, about how many of you are gonna be able to pass your exam. Um, lot, <laughs> hi Professor Morrow, I'm, Uncertain about this, uncertain about that, just a bunch of them. So I'm not gonna go over all of them. Actually, I'm just not even gonna do that. Um, let me just, instead of reading all the questions and individually going over those, let's just go over what you need to pass your written and your, your practical. Okay. So for your written test, you are to fill in the rhythms of every unit throughout the song. The first and second phrase, they're repeats, so you're really only doing two out of an entire song. And you choose from either the single or the delayed single, the double, the triple, or the blank unit. I'm, I've got it on the board here. I'll show you the first one. We've got a double, triple, delayed single, and then a blank unit, which is pretty cool because we've got four different uh, rhythms going on right there. The only thing that we don't have going on is a basic single. So in the first eight beats of music, why do the babies start when there's enough food to feed the world? One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and an eight. You've got eight beats of music. Every two beats of music is a unit, and us dancers are taking either one, two, three, none steps within those two beats. The dots are weight changes, the slashes are non-weight changes. What you need to do is tell me that on the first two beats of music, as a dancer, you're doing a double rhythm. And then I need you to tell me that on your three, four, that you're doing a triple. And then on your five, six, you're doing a delayed single. And then on your seven, eight, you're doing a blank unit. And then go through and fill that in with all four. Your phrase is done. The second phrase changes up. You'll go through and repeat and fill that in as well. Oh, the question was asked, what style of dance is this? Well, I choreographed it as a West Coast swing. So, but you don't really need to worry about that because West Coast swing is a dance where you're interpreting your movement to the music. Uh, in the video before this one, I was telling you that and I said that you interpret your movement to the dance. <laughs> I watched that back. Scratch, <laughs> incorrect. You're moving your body, just make it be one of the instruments or the lyrics, whatever you're connecting to. So don't worry about any style, just kind of move organically. I have slowed it down 13, 16 and 19%. So I will be sending that out to you and you can pick and choose which you, uh, tempo you are comfortable with. And for your practical, you are to dance the very short two minute and 16 second song. And it's just basically like a line dance. It's a flash mob, it's just a repeat. Uh, you're not dancing with a partner. You don't have to worry about frame, connection, moving with that partner. Um, it's pretty easy uh, to dance by yourself versus dancing with somebody else. So. That was why I chose a flash mob. So anyway, I believe that you guys will have no problem getting through this if you just uh, watch the videos and work through it. So a uh, couple of weeks, the exams are coming up. So I would suggest <laughs> you get to watching and dancing. All right? 
So anyway, gonna be making you the video for the arms for the second phrase this week and then the entire song danced to the music. All right, have fun, take care.